That's a good question. What is a public toilet? Well, basically it's a toilet that's not a private toilet, that's just something in your house, um, but it's actually a, a toilet which could be accessed by members of the public. Doesn't, doesn't really necessarily mean that they've got to be accessed it 24 hours a day, it could be. It could be uh, an actual block which says ladies or gents on the outside. It could be toilets within another facility, say within a shopping mall. Well, I think up until this date, um, public toilet provision, certainly within the UK, has been rather haphazard. Uh, different authorities have had different approaches, and the end result is that some places have a number of uh, facilities, others don't, and very often the facilities don't really reflect life in the 21st century with our cultures and our approaches to uh, transport and, and going out. And so the standard is important because it actually produces a strategy. It gives a methodology of how to produce a strategy for an authority or a planner of how to work out where you should put public toilets, where they're needed, where they're not needed, uh, and what sort of facilities there should be in those toilets. I think there was generally um, a discontentment in certain parts of uh, society, I expect it mainly amongst the ladies, that Queuing outside toilets isn't a good idea and is actually probably an, an offence to their human rights that they actually have to queue when other people don't have to queue. So what we've tried to do over the years is try to balance up the provision of toilets, be they public or, or otherwise. One of the big problems is that uh, a, we have our standard is only uh, recommendations, so people may take notice of it, or they may ignore it. So unless it's actually called up in a contract or, or regulations, then it's still just advisory. But if the, if the standard is actually followed, you should actually get what is called in America potty parity. I think I'd like to see uh, authorities adopt BS 6465 Part 4, as their methodology for looking at their toilet strategy, not just to have you know, a finger in the air think, well, we can have a few toilets there. And what sort of facilities are needed and what can the toilets do to actually attract people to, into their areas? Obviously, one of the issues is tourism. So if you've got uh, a tourist spot but actually poor toilets, people may not actually want to go there and obviously they won't be able to go there. Uh, but if you can actually improve the facilities, you may actually attract more people to the area and obviously in increase the income as well. So toilets can be the key to lots of different things. Probably one of the first standards, if not the first standard in the world, to address uh, provision of public toilets. So I think it's one of these standards that's not only going to be read in the UK, but also read much further field. Uh, so uh, especially we've obviously got the Olympics coming next year, so uh, I think there'll be lots of interest from other countries in this particular standard.